Okay, so today what we're going to do is we are going to make a component that is going to use a sling model. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sling model which will basically take in a name and it'll capitalize the first letter of it. So I'm going to create a new class. And now I'm going to look up how to create a sling model. Okay, so we use the add model annotation and set adaptable to resource. And then we can inject properties. And we'll see how that works in just a little bit. Okay. And what we can do is I'll just say that we're going to have a property name that will be added through a dialog. And so I can use the inject annotation as shown here to inject a property automatically. And the name of the property uh, property has to match exactly with the name of the field. Otherwise, you can use something called the at named annotation. Uh, you can see it like this. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, instead of capitalizing the word in the constructor, which you would do traditionally with a Java class, what I'll do is I'll do it in the post construct method. Okay, and this is because we have to wait until the property has been injected. Okay, so I'll just do something like this. Except we can actually make the method private. So let's just do that. Post construct. And then let's say we have another field called formatted name. We'll say character to uppercase. Okay, so we'll capitalize the first letter, and then we will add the rest of it. Okay, and then we'll just add an accessor. Perfect. Okay, and so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a component. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy uh, our Hello World component, which is a simple uh, component with just one field within its dialog. So let me copy this. And we'll call it the name component. Okay, and so we have content.xml, which is just going to be the properties of the actual node itself. And we'll see we have a component group. And in here, we're just going to want to change text to name. And then make some changes to this. Okay. 
And then what I'll do is I'll use our name model here. Okay. And then I'll do something like my formatted name is, and then we're using HTL here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to want to use the name of the model and then the name of the accessor without the get. So it'll just be formatted name. And let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to build the package. And let's go ahead and see if that worked. Okay, and in components, okay, we see we have a name component, so that's a good sign. Let's drag it over here. Uh-oh, what is wrong? That's because we actually don't have a name property. So if I do this, we will see that my formatted name is Jake. Okay, so this problem is happening because we're trying to create the sling model and the name property hasn't been set yet. So we can actually make for a better authoring experience by using something called data slide test. Okay, and, and we can find this here on the Adobe documentation called HTL block statements. And it says it will conditionally remove the host element and its content. So for example, the P element and its content will only be rendered if is shown is true. And additionally, you can assign uh, the result of data slide test to a variable. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so what I'll first do is I'll say sly and the sly element uh, basically is a non-existent element. It's just a way of wrapping other things up. So the sly element will disappear when everything is rendered. And I'll say properties.name. Okay, and then down here we'll say data slide test, and then not name exists, so if the name does not exist, we'll say please enter a name. Okay, and let's go ahead and build this. And we will refresh. And let's try it one more time. Looks good. All right, very nice. So you have just learned how to create a simple component using a sling model.
Thanks for watching.